Okay, welcome to Thursday. It's boot camp day again. I've got a workout today that I've got planned is going to be um, like a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced move. I'm going to go through all three moves. Uh, you can still enjoy me on the beginner one. We'll add an extra exercise on the intermediate, and then we'll go for it in the advanced round. I'll give you the modifications as we go, but the way the workout's going to work is that you will do 30 seconds of work, you'll do a 15 second rest, and then we'll go through the routine twice. So if you're ready uh, and warmed up, let's go ahead and get started. If not, stop the video here and warm up. I'm already ready to go, so I got a little music that I'm going to play. So hopefully I've got this working. There we go. I just like to have a little music in the background, just to kind of help. There we go. All right, the first exercise you're going to do is going to be an inchworm. You're going to walk out and you're going to walk back 30 seconds. Then you're going to do um, a reverse curtsy lunge. If you want to do it without weight, you'll do it without weight. You can have a weight. I've got a medicine ball that I'm going to use. Then the next one we're going to do is a plank tee up. And then you're going to do push ups on your knees. 30 seconds each, 15 second break. Let's go. There we go. Walk out for 30 seconds. Just like a little inchworm. And stand up. Walk it out. I know in previous workouts, we usually try to get out there in about four moves. This time, make it about six or eight steps. Boom. And raise it up. 30 seconds right here. Very good. And stand it up. 15 second break. So kind of take that 15 second break here. Very easy. This is the easy part of the workout. The next one you're gonna do, you're gonna do reverse curtsy lunges. Now make sure you're really stepping off to the side. Don't do this unless absolutely necessary. It's not a skater. Get a good reverse curtsy lunge. And I've got a little bit of some glute work I'm gonna add at the very end of this. Everybody's been sitting a lot, so we're going to build those glutes back up, make them strong. Keep moving. Nice curtsy lunge. Level one, you don't have to have a weight. Very good. That was the easy round. Next round, you're going to be doing a plank tee up. Now, I'm going to add a mat here. I'm going to go diagonal so you get a full view here. I'm going to go ahead and get down on the mat. Plank tee up. I'm just going to reach up and come down. Reach up, come down. Don't want to reach up far, just bend the elbow. Nice little bend in the elbow. This is still level one. If you still need to use the knees, reach up. Reach up, just graze the opposite knee. So you keep one knee on the floor. Very good, 30 seconds. So now you're gonna go right into a push up. You can go ahead and wait. You can kind of stretch out, kind of get yourself loosened up a little more. These are going to be on your knees, but so instead of like this, kind of lean forward a little bit. Nice little push up. Take your time. They do not have to be done fast. I'm doing more of a tricep push up here. My arms are in close. If you need to go out a little bit wider, you can go a little bit wider. Try to get the chest as close as you can to the floor. Now remember, you're going to do this again. Good, there's a 15 second break. You're going to do this whole routine again. So I'm going to give you a little diagonal here of that inchworm. I'm going to try to walk it out in about six to eight steps this time. Here we go. I did that in about six. I'm going to bend my arm just a little bit, add a little bit more push-up because I'm trying to get my push-up count for the day. Or I can just stay here. You're in that beginner. Boom. 
Very good. Take it down again. I think we're just gonna make it. All right, 15 second break. Very good. I'm gonna turn this music up. It's Okay, have a little bit of music. All right, reverse curtsy lunges. Nice step. Really feel, bend the knees. You should be able to see behind you. You should be able to see you're landing on the ball of the foot and on the toe. Nice bend in that front knee. Now, I'm going slow because this is the first round. All level one. Very good, 15 second break. Now you're gonna do that tee up. You can go ahead and come down, 15 second break. I'm gonna just tee up, tee up. Now we get to that intermediate round, it goes to three. You're gonna go three rounds with it. And we're gonna add a little bit. This is basically, this would be like a warm up for me. Sorry to say that, but it would be. And then you know your fitness level. You could be just like, hey, level one, level two is my, my game. Level three, you leave that for me. All right, push up on the knees, bend those knees. Heels are up. You can actually count. See how many you can get in at 30 seconds. signal that. All right, we're going to go into level two. A lot of these are involved in the same thing. Right here, you're going to still do an inchworm. We're going to try to walk a little bit faster. We're going to do a reverse curtsy lunge. We're going to try to add some resistance. I've got a plank with a tee up, but you're going to hold it like one, two, then come down. You're going to add squats to it this time. You can add weights to it if you want. Start that little squat jump to get a little bit more of that heart rate up. And then we're going to start doing alternating supermans. You're going to have your leg. You're going to be laying down. So I'm thinking about a 30 second break is all you need for this. But this goes three rounds. So be ready for three rounds on this one. So this is going to, that was six minutes. This is going nine minutes. It's almost like uh, a Tabata round, but you're actually just doing boot camp moves. So we'll start again. This is 12 rounds, 30 seconds. You do what you can in that 30 seconds. Let's get going. So we're gonna do inchworms. So you can go a little bit faster. This is more intermediate. Pick up that pace a little bit. You can start to get it in like four or five steps. You wanna get that heart rate up a little bit more. Cause you're intermediate here. Good, keep going. Very good, you're gonna go into that reverse curtsy lunge. I'm gonna move this mat forward a little bit. I'm gonna grab, I got a 10 pound med ball here. So I'm gonna use like a little resistance. Hold it right here about chest level. Now if I wanna make a little bit more I can actually just kind of push that med ball out as I come forward. Or if you've got like a five or an eight pound dumbbell. Make sure you're doing that lunge. That foot's going behind. Very good. All right, you're gonna go that plank tee up. I'm gonna give it to you from the front here. I'm gonna go ahead and come down. But you gotta do like a two second hold. Right into that plank. 
Bend knees if you need to. I'm going to go one, two, down. One, two, down. I'm going to give myself a count of one, two, down. Pull that core in tight. Make sure those feet are wide. Nice work. Good. I'm going to have to advance this. Another right because we got a separate exercise. This comes to squats. I can start to add a little resistance. Add that squat in. Now, second and third round, you can add a squat jump. But do what you can in that 30 seconds. This is level two, so don't take your time. Try to get as many as you can as long as you're not compromising that form. Here I can add a little press overhead if I want. Add a little bit more resistance. Very good. Now you're going to alternate that Superman. We're going to be down on the ground. I'm going to raise right arm as I raise that left leg. I'm going to raise up, and I'm going to raise up. Raise up, and raise up. Keep that neck neutral. Try not to do this. I'm kind of looking down about six, seven inches in front of me, like the tip of the mat here. Very good. Bring that up. Round one is done. Yeah, I'll have to add three more with that. All right, get ready. Right into that inch one. Move. Move a little quicker. And up. Body weight's the best thing you can use here. Good. 15 second break. Curtsy lunge. You can add that little press away. You do not have to use resistance if you don't want to. Right into that curtsy lunge. Squeeze those glutes. Still only 30 seconds of work. I can have a little push out. Boom. And push it out as I'm going to that opposite side. Boom. Works a little bit on the balance a little better. Very good. Right into that plank tee up. I can come down hands and knees, be ready. Two second hold. Bring it up. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Pull that core in tight. Reach, 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 reach. Very good. Bring that down. Right into those squats. If you want to take it up another little notch, you can add the resistance or just do a body weight squat jump. Stay with regular squat. It's only 30 seconds. I can get that cardio up just a little bit. Just make sure, try not to use the arms too much. If you want, you can just hold the arms here so you don't you rely on that momentum. That's why I said sometimes it's good to hold a, a weight. But if you need a little bit of jump, do that. 
Very good. Now you're going to alternate those supermans again. Take it down. Extend those arms out. Very good. Alternate. Very good. Nice, that's a 15 second break. All right, I'm gonna do that because I gotta get you back through, I gotta get you through five rounds. So let's go into five rounds. Starting that last round. Go, inch one out. The reason I had to stop that is because I put 12 on there instead of 15 because it's five exercises, three times a round. Now the next one is going to be four rounds. And it's going to be a little bit more advanced. So just bear with me on that last thing. But if you feel you need to do this one again, go for it again. Great, you're going to do a reverse curtsy lunge. You can use, a, like I said, a dumbbell. Medicine ball. Nice curtsy lunges here. Try to get that knee toward the floor. Really feel that glute work. Boom. I can extend that weight out as I come up. Works a little bit more on that balance. Boom. Really makes you think about it. Work the brain as well. Very good. Nice. Here comes your plank tee up, two second interval. So go ahead and come down. Boom. 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 So this is considered medium or intermediate. You have to hold just another split second longer. But if you do not want to do that two second, just keep going. You might be able to get several more in. You can hold it for like one second. Nice. Now you're gonna go into those squats. You can do a squat jump or hold a squat. That's the only thing we've added in on this one. Got it up, give me a squat. Or you can do a jump. You can actually throw the hands overhead. Really work on trying to get that heart rate up a little more. Got about 10 seconds. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you, the resistance, I mean the rest comes down on that third round. You're only gonna get like 10 second break. So, alternating supermans, let's get in position. And let's go. You gotta have strong core. Got to have a strong lower back. You're going to go into full Superman's on that third round. Or the advanced round, what I call level three. Very good there. There you go. Now. Three rounds of level two. May not be too bad, but you may be out there thinking, oh my God, he's crazy, but I think you'll be fine. The next round, we're adding another movement, and then one of the, one of the movements is gonna be a burpee, so you do a thruster. 
you walk it out, walk it up, and just come out and raise your hands above your head. Do not do a full burpee if you do not want to do that. So, we'll go ahead, get this set up. This is only 10 second breaks that you're gonna get. So the time comes down. But we gotta go four rounds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves. So this is gonna take quite a while. But, so we got seven exercises, four rounds. This right here, this is really gonna get you going. But you only get a 10 second break and you gotta give me four rounds with it. That's why I said, stay with that intermediate if you need to. This is really gonna get you. We had a burpee. Most of them are gonna be staying with that squat jump or and a jump lunge, taking the reverse curtsy out. So if you do not wanna do that jump lunge, stay with that reverse curtsy. If you want to stay with me, we're going to do the jump one. So, this is seven exercises, four rounds. So, if you're ready, so let's go. Give me that inchworm. You got to get moving. Only a 10 second break in between. Take a break anytime you need to. Inchworm. Now, this is going to be a reverse lunge or switch jump. Ten second break. You go into a switch jump, or stay with that squat. I mean, don't stay with the squat. Stay with that curtsy. So I can give you a modifier. You can stay here, but I need you to move a little bit quicker. Or you're doing a switch jump. Don't want to do that. Nothing wrong with stepping back, but I need you to move fast. But don't compromise form. This would be a modifier for that level three. I do runner arms, so I get that upper body involved. There comes the burpee, real quick. Bring it down, step it out, walk it back in, raise arms up for that modifier. Give me that burpee. You can do it. It's only 30 seconds. shoulders half each time. You got to hold. Go to the knees if you need to. This one, you can do the squat jump or hands can come behind the head. Do a prisoner squat. And move. Squeeze those glutes, boom. Try to get 90 degrees. Hands can even actually come here if you need a little bit of support. 
You're really trying to get as much as you can out of this third round. Nice. Superman, so you're gonna put it together. 30 seconds. Feet and hands and arms. Boom. 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 Good. So you're gonna get a 10 second break before we advance into that round two. Boom. 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 Awesome. Look at there. You got round one done. Here we go. Right into that inchworm. Move. Move with this inchworm. Go. Boot camp is supposed to be tough. Even if it's body weight, just make sure you drop the hilt, stand up. Boom, now you can take your time. Like I said, if you need to, you can make it in about eight steps. I just wanna move a little quicker. I wanna see what I can get out of it. Boom, nice. I'm going to a split jump this time. Stay with reverse one, I'm gonna jump. Let's see what I can do on this round two. I want to get a little bit more cardio in. Very good, look at there. Plank with a tee up, move quick. Let me get my hands here. Go. Woo, that was pretty tough. Nice tee up, as long as I'm keeping that body in line. I'm keeping that core tight. I can move a little faster, but don't compromise more. Don't be leaning back. You can just raise the elbow if you want. That could be an option. Good, push up with shoulder taps. I'll stay right here on the mat. Go to the knees if you need to. Push up, shoulder tap, push up. Shoulder tap. Bend the knees if you need to. Push up, come up, shoulder tap. But make sure you're leaning forward and those heels are up. You want those heels up like that. Boom. And tap. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Good. Now you're going into prisoner squat. Take it up another notch. I'm getting dirty here with this mat. This right here, you resist having to use those arms. Land on the balls of the feet, come right back down. We're about halfway. You don't have to touch the ceiling with these. Just nice little up and down. A couple inches off the floor. Superman, we're gonna double them here. Awesome. Very good. Round two is done. Get ready for that inch worm. 10 second break. You're already past halfway, stay with me. 
You can pass this round. You're close to the finish line. And it's only 30 seconds of work. We can do this. Edge warms, nice. Very good. You can do the jump lunges. I'm starting to sweat here. Cause I got my little headband on here. Switch lunges. I can even land, step back if I want. If I want to bring it up, or I can just step back. Give me those runner arms. Even I need to catch my breath as well. Here comes that burpee. I'm gonna use this mat. Here we go. Take it out. Jump it up. Boom. Jump it up. Jump it up. Modify if you need to. Bring it down. Step it out. Walk it in. Stand up. Let me see if I can get a couple more in here. Awesome. Plank T ups. Reach it up. Uh, like I said, I can just use the elbow. Raise that elbow up just like I'm about to punch. But I got that core tight. I got my feet shoulder width apart. So my feet just kind of lay in step on the, and on the out, in step and on the out. Plank T-ups, boom. Full plank T-ups. Awesome, I wanted to finish that. Push up with shoulder taps. This one right here will really show you how body weight can really play into a good workout. I figured I'd give about 11 or 12 each one of these. Awesome. Now alternating supermans. Now full superman, excuse me. I'm gonna do full superman here. Squeeze. Squeeze. If it's a little bit easier for you, you can do more of an Iron Man. Boom, you might be able to raise chest up just a little bit like I'm doing. But be sure to raise those feet up as well. Look at there, round three is done. Let's finish this fourth round. Let's go for it. Give me that inch warm. Let's finish this. And get to that core work. Those abs. Even though you're using a lot of abs here, we're going to focus slowly, solely on the abs in that core region. Good. The tough one for me coming up is those split lunges. Let me fold this forward. Split lunges here. Give you a little profile here. Or some call them split squat lunge. Boom, 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 boom. Try to get this knee 
90 degrees as possible. Boom, boom. Even if you're doing a reverse, you want 90 degrees. Very good. Let's go for a burpee here. I'm gonna use half of this. For my chest only. Let's go. Let's get those done. Well, I know y'all are happy that I'm sweating. Come bring it down. Right into those tee ups. You'll get a 15 second break and it's over. Very good. Nice work. There you go. 15 second break and this is over. There you go. something there. I'm like trying to see if I missed something, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I just had it too many rounds. Ah. 30 times 7. Thirty seconds times seven plus a ten second break. If I miss something, you know, leave me a comment or something. But make sure you get four rounds in. This is more of a demo video anyways. So we're going to take a little minute break. We're going to do like a 10 second break. And then we're going to go uh, a good 16 minutes. I mean, good 10 minutes into this quarter. we got three different exercises that we're going to do. We're going to go right into one, right into the next one. One we did yesterday, we did that butterfly set up. We're going to do a tuck V up and then we're going to do uh, that uh, corkscrew, leg raise corkscrew. So, so this is going to be, it's going to be pretty tough. It's going to use a lot of the lower body. So this will go for like, you're going to try to get uh, about 10 minutes roughly. It's like three rounds of each. So 30 seconds each. So we'll go with that first one, which will be the butterfly sit up. We're going to do the tuck with the V up or just that tuck and you extend the legs. Then you're going to do that twisting corkscrew. So if you're ready with me, Butterfly 
Let her fly sit up. Tuck, V. All right, first one will be butterfly sit up, 30 seconds each. We're gonna keep moving for 10 minutes. We're gonna get as many as rounds we can. I mean, not as many rounds as we can, we're gonna try to get you to stay with me. So, let me set this up. So it's 10 second break, just to transition. And then we're gonna go. So nothing interrupts me. There we go. I don't want anything interrupting us here. So. Butterfly sit up. Tuck. With V up. And then that twist. Alright. Let's go. You got a butterfly sit up. Bottoms of the feet are together. Reach up. I just need to put that on like do not disturb. So it doesn't stop on me like it did yesterday. My timer completely quit on me. So. Because I didn't put do not disturb on. Very good for the lower core. This is working your upper core. Good. 10 second transition. Go ahead and lay back. You're going to do a tuck. Then you're going to extend the legs out with a V up. Alright. Tuck. V up. Tuck. V up, tuck, V up, tuck, and you can do a V up, tuck it in, V up, tuck it in, V up. Now, if you need to modify any of that, don't do the V up, just keep those tucks going. 10 second break, yeah. Now, this involves you Feet are going to be extended out. Maybe I can give you a view like this. I'm going to raise up. I'm going to drop legs back down. My toes are going to the left shoulder. Toes go to the right shoulder. Nice little twist here. Boom. If you do not want to do that, just do a leg lift. Stay right here with the hands underneath the heels. Just do a leg lift. You can do that on the first round. Or add that little twist. Very good, you can take a little break. Good, now you wanna repeat that again. All right. Butterfly, go. You don't have to wait on me. If you're ready. You can tap the toes, or you can raise those hands up. Very good, give me that tuck with that uh, V up. Raise those shoulders up, pull it in, extend out, V up. Pull it in, you really get those arms utilized, boom. Pull it in, extend the legs out, try not to let the feet touch the floor. Boom, tuck, right here. Tuck, and right here. Very good with that. Now, this will be a side view. I'll give you that leg raise with that corkscrew. I'm gonna extend the legs out. Boom, nice little twist. You can see my heels go toward the camera. Now my toes come toward the camera. I can leave the hands underneath. Nice little support here. Or I can extend the hands out. I'm a little more advanced. Boom. I bring this heel. Boom. Boom. See? There you go. Good. Let's get ready for round number seven. Right back into that, 10 second break, boom. 
Take a break whenever you need to. We want a nice strong core. You did the uh, lower back with those supermans. Sure get one more. Boom, nice work. I'm gonna angle this. I'm hitting some of my garage equipment here. I don't wanna cut my finger. Tuck. Now V up. Boom. Tuck. Pull it in. Boom. Hands come out to the sides. V it up. Find a focal point. I'm looking at the light above me. So I keep the chin off the chest. Boom. 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 Tuck. Boom. If I focus on something, it takes my time. It takes my off the time there. Get ready for that corkscrew. Twist. Feet are up off the floor. Boom. Nice little twist. Boom. Now I can start to Walk those hands out a little bit more. I get a little bit more if I move my hands about a foot from the body on each side. Boom. But be careful. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Takes a little stress off the lower back since you're lightly raising that back off the floor. Good. We've got one more round of each. Get ready for that butterfly. Really working the core today. Boom. Boom. Be up. Give myself a little bit more room here. Good. Tuck. Be up. Tuck. Be up. Tuck. Be up. Tuck it in. Be up. Tuck it in. And V. Very good. One more of that corkscrew. And then we got that last round. That's what I say, you don't have to rush through these. Make sure you get good control. This move, you don't want done very fast anyway. A little work on those obliques. Boom. Strengthen that lower back. It should be nice and warm from those Supermans and those Ironmans. Boom. Now you're down to your last round. Last 30 seconds of each. Hands above the head. Reach, or reach for those toes. I like to reach out, so I get a little bit of elongation on that spine and that lower back. Keeps that lower back nice and strong. Coming down to our last minute. Boom. Nice. Give me that tuck with that V up. Let's finish that one here. Tuck. Legs and arms up. Tuck. Boom. Now if you have an option, this is just an option, I'm gonna throw this in real quick. You can be here. You wanna add a little bit more resistance. You're like, ah, oh, that's not enough. You can add a dumbbell. Or a minute balls, you've got it hanging. 
I'm always coming up with ideas for you. Boom. Nice work. Let's finish that twist. Hands are out. Don't compromise form though. Twist. Little corkscrew twist. Boom. Bring that hip to that right shoulder. Boom. Ah. Very good. Boom. Coming up on about the last 10 seconds. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and take a little break here. Thank you for joining me here today. This is going to wind down, finish that round. 10 second break. Good. 15 rounds right there of core. Three good exercises to really focus on that core. Uh, if you feel this isn't enough, this probably took about roughly 45 minutes. So stretch before, make sure you do some stretching afterwards. Good stretches for this would be the cat cow. Do those stretches right there. Really good for the lower back. And really good stretch uh, for the core. Do some reaching, nice elongation of the spine, stuff like that. Stretch your arms out and over. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, right after the workout, kind of catch your breath. And just as you're walking around, you know, you just drink a water, hold this for 10, 15 seconds, and then swap it out with the opposite arm, 10, 15 seconds. You know, reach up overhead, you know, 10, 15 seconds. And then some toe touches always work. Let the head go a little heavy. Focus on the floor or right out in front of you. So, very good boot camp with that today. As you know, I'm sweating. I always sweat during my boot camp from people don't think I do when I'm doing the work. But uh, let's keep these going. Uh, uh, these are going to be available for you. Share them with your friends. Tell them to subscribe and hit that uh, little bell on the side. They'll get notifications on another boot camp or another workout that I've posted. So tell them about that too. Tell them to subscribe and hit that little bell. It's under Get Ready Fit, capital G, capital B, capital L. Everything else is lowercase. And also I've got these workouts on Instagram under Get Ready Fit as well. So thanks again for joining me today. Go ahead and get your day started. Should be nice weather, about 66 degrees. And it's the end of the month. It's the end of April. Let's welcome May. Yes. See you guys on the next workout.